the blind will see, the deaf will hear, oh, and even the dead will live again. This anointing speaks, anointing heals, anointing frees, oh, in the surrender of liberty. Come on, just sing it again. The lame will walk, the blind will see, the deaf will hear, oh. With our God, everything, everything is possible. Everything is possible, and nothing is impossible. With our God, everything is possible. Everything is possible. Everything is possible, and nothing is impossible. With our God, everything. Everything is possible, nothing is impossible. Go ahead and speed it up a little bit. Now that you have it, come on, just declare, I have it. Because I know that there is nothing impossible with my God. Come on, you better say it like you mean it. Come on. There is nothing impossible with my God. Come on, there is no devil in hell. There is no cancer on the earth. There is no fear that can come against my God. Amen. We'll hear, oh, and even the dead will live again. The anointing speaks. This anointing speaks. Anointing frees. Anointing heals. Oh, in the surrender to liberty, and everything is possible. Everything is possible. Nothing is impossible. With our God, everything is, everything is possible. Everything is possible. Nothing is impossible. With our God, everything is. Everything is possible, nothing is impossible with our God. Everything is possible, everything is possible, nothing is impossible with our God. Just declare the lame will walk. Here's the lame will walk, the blind will see, the deaf will hear. Whoa. Even the dead will live again. Come on, just sing out this anointing. This anointing speaks, anointing frees, anointing heals. Oh, in the surrender of liberty. Come on, and everything is possible. Everything is possible. And nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible with our God. Yeah. Everything is possible. Everything is possible. Everything is possible. Nothing oh. is impossible oh. with our God. Everything is possible. Everything is possible. Nothing is impossible with our God. Come on, just sit down. The deaf will hear, oh, and even the dead will live again. This anointing speaks, anointing breathes, anointing heals, oh, in the surrender of liberty. And everything is possible, everything is possible, nothing is impossible. With our God, everything is, everything is possible. Oh, yeah. Everything is possible. Nothing, Nothing is impossible. With our God, everything, everything is possible. Everything is possible. Nothing is impossible. With our God, everything 
Father, we just bless you today. We thank you for the opportunity to worship you. We thank you for this opportunity that you give us to be in your presence. And we honor you with all our heart. We honor you with all our heart, Father. We love you and we praise you in the name of Jesus. I just, just stay where you are. I just want to speak to you for a moment. I I, I know, um, and God, give me the grace to speak. You know, this, this week, um, about three years ago, God connected me um, to a ministry in South Africa. And you've heard me say that, that I really rarely listen to American preachers. I say that because it's true. There's very few people that I listen to. But about three years ago, uh, two and a half, three years ago, the Lord connected me to a major ministry out of South Africa just by the Spirit. But this year, he connected me by the hands. But the reason I'm talking to you is because this week, that man of God, my my spiritual authority, his worship leader went home to be with the Lord. This This is my spiritual authority, which is your spiritual authority. He's a major prophet from South Africa. His church is called Enlightened Christian Gathering. You you can put the other one on. And so this this week, his his worship leader went home to be with the Lord, who was very, very, it's like my brother. You know, I don't know how I can explain it to you. It's like my brother. I never met the man, but in the spirit, it was like my brother. And, And when he passed on, it really, I know he's with the Lord. He had an encounter with God. He had a vision. His last song he sang is, I'm ready to go home. I mean, it was like everything God was... His name is James Knee, and uh, him and uh, two other brothers, they, they passed on in a car wreck. And while I was listening to his music and worshiping the Lord this week, God really put on my heart to honor him. Amen. And so we're going to take this moment here in this house Amen. to honor a mighty, mighty man of God and a worshiper of the Lord who is now singing in heaven Amen. <laughs> with the Lord. And so what we're going to do is something a little different. And I want you to know this is your brother. He's, he's with the Lord now. And we're going to play his music videos. And we're going to worship alongside of him. And heaven is worshiping while we're worshiping. In honor of his life. Amen. So my, my, I'm asking you, would you join us to, to honor those that have given us so much from the realms of God into this earthly realm. That we don't even know the impact that has taken place. Amen. And so uh, and, uh, uh, as an honor uh, to my spiritual authority and, and the heading home of James Knee, well, let us worship the Lord. Amen. Are you ready? Are you all ready? Come on, let's, let's, let's worship the Lord with all of our heart. Amen.
Your words are so deep, oh Jesus, so deep. Like the morning sun, your light is so bright, so bright. Sing like the mighty. I'm like the mighty waves of the sea. From deepest to low, and Jesus, who loves and who cares, who moves like you do, no one, cause there is nothing you cannot do. We just honor him for his life. We're going to sing another song. And all these songs that we're singing, they, he wrote them. And it was angels that visited him and gave him the words to these songs. The next song he sings, it's called When You Call My Name. So the, the crazy thing is, and this is how we should live life. Jesus prepared him to go home. And he wrote many songs talking about, God, I hear your name calling me. I hear you calling my name. And I'll be ready when you tell me it's time to go home. And he did just that. So what we're going to sing, it's called When You Call My Name. So just close your eyes and you'll see him playing. You'll see him singing as he um, lifts this song in worship. Amen.
verse that is coming in this song. I've never sung it in church before, but I want you to hear the verse. The verse says, it's going to every Christian who is going through persecutions. See, I don't care how many times I'm fought for the sake of your name. I know victory is in your hands. See, there are times I feel like giving up, but your spirit, but your spirit stops at me. Yeah. Victories in your hands. 
Come on. See, there are times I feel I can't be now, but your spirit's right. Coming home, oh Jesus, just when you call my name, I'll be happy to say that I'm ready to come home. Come on, shout his name. The precious, precious name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, we love you more than anything, oh God. We love you more than anything, Jesus. We love you more than anything, God. More than anything, oh Jesus. It's more than the air I breathe And more than the song I sing And more than the next heartbeat More than anything And Lord, as time goes by I will be by your side Cause I never want to go back to my old life to sing I need you more more than yesterday I need you more right now more than words can say I need you more than ever before I need you more I need you, Lord. Sing more. And more than the air I breathe. And more than the song I sing. And more than the next heartbeat. Just sing more than anything. And more than anything. And Lord, as time goes by. And I will be by your side. Cause I never want to go back to my old life I need you more, just sing it out more And more than yesterday, I need you more More than words can say, and more than words can say I need you more, I need you more than ever before I need you more Oh Lord I need you more I need you more I need you more Just sing it out church And more than yesterday I need you more and More than words can say I need you more Right there in your presence is where he belongs. This young child of yours has finally entered home. Cause right there in your presence is where he belongs. Oh, this mighty warrior of yours has finally entered home. Oh, Jesus. And right here in your presence is where we belong. Here we are, your children, ready, 
when you say you come home it's right here in your presence is where we all belong i need you more jesus every day i need you more father we just thank you for his life god we thank you for the millions of souls, Father God, that were touched by his life. Jesus, and the legacy, Father God, that lives on because of him being obedient to your word, Lord God. And Father, we choose this day to be the same, to be obedient to the call, to be obedient to the call that you have on our lives, Lord God, for not to be like the man who hid his talent, Lord Jesus, in the dirt for no one to see. But God, you said this morning, I said, Lord God, what are my instructions today? And I didn't understand. But you said, I want you to be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And Father, I have an understanding. When you speak those words to us, you are speaking to us that with our gifts and our talents and the promises you've given us, Father God, and the words that you've given us, God, and the mighty, mighty anointing that we each carry, Lord God, that we are to go into the earth to multiply and replenish the earth, Father God, because the earth is waiting for the sons and daughters to arise, Lord God. So us as sons and daughters, we choose to take our place Lord God, and to not bury our talents, but to be like the man who received the 10 talents and to multiply those talents, Lord God, and to replenish the earth with those talents, Lord God, and to increase, Father God, and collect increase, and to be increased, Lord God, and to collect interest, God, and to sow and to pour into other lives, Father, because it's not about us, Lord God. It's not about us saying, God, I can't do it, because even Jeremiah said, but I am but a child, Lord God, but it wasn't me him that was speaking it was you Lord God and you are greater than the greatest Lord God you are bigger than the biggest Lord God you are mightier than the mightiest Lord God you are hungrier for the freedom in our lives God than we could ever understand Lord God you're bigger than anything Lord God and we honor your presence Lord God why don't you just give a hand cup of praise for what the Lord did in his life and I pray that each and every one of you make a decision like he did to choose to live your life every single day for Jesus. Every morning when you wake up, to ask God for his instructions for the day. Because many people are counting on you to say yes to the decision that God gave you. The ordained ministry that you have, the, the calling on your life, many people are waiting. And many people don't have a chance to wait. Many people, and I was explaining this to my worship team, they are very close to the edge of going straight to hell. But we as a people should choose to be the group that stands right here saying, no, don't do it, turn back. We have to not be afraid to be on the edge of hell and freedom. We cannot be afraid to choose to stand right here if it's gonna cause other people to be set free. So God, this day, we choose as a people to be a cliffhanger, Lord God. So those people that don't realize that they are about to walk into the pits of hell, Lord God. God, that we would catch them, Lord God, that we would grab hold of their hand and tell them, no, no, you have purpose, you have destiny. God created you with a purpose and you shall have that purpose fulfilled. He said that you shall live and not die, but declare the works of the Lord. Amen. God, we honor you for your presence, God, because it is you that speaks through us. It is you that lives through us. It is you that sets us free, that sets us free from abandonment, that sets us free from cancer, that sets us free from fear, that sets us free from brokenness, that sets us free from the enemy's home. And we declare, as we declared before service, that the gates of hell shall not prevail. The gates of hell, hell will not have more people than heaven. Hell will not have more people than heaven because we are making a decision today to be obedient to the call of God on our lives. Lord God, we love you so much. Just tell him I love you.